Hello, scholars. Welcome. Mr. Hinkle here, using a balloon to demonstrate the Coriolis effect. So what we have here is an outline of the equator, the North Pole, with the direction that the Earth rotates from west to east, and then also the South Pole. And we will be drawing straight lines without rotation and with rotation to show the effects of Earth's rotation on a straight line path, which is the Coriolis effect. So without, I'll set that down here. Without rotation, what we have is a straight line down and a straight line up. With rotation, what we will see is that our straight line path is deflected from the bottom. And I'm going to do the same thing here with rotation to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere. This is very similar when we look at Earth's three convection cells, the Hadley, the Ferrell, and the Polar. We have er uh, air on Earth's surface traveling down from about 30 degrees latitude that bends to the right and up from 30 degrees south latitude that bends to the left, creating a prevailing wind pattern known as the trade winds. This also gives us the westerlies at about 30 degrees, the easterlies at about 60 degrees, and helps explain why we have convection cells and why, ultimately, we have areas that have hot, moist air and cool, dry air, and how air has an apparent deflection to the right in the northern hemisphere, the left in the southern hemisphere, creating prevailing wind patterns. So that is the Coriolis effect explained through the balloon. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again.